Welcome back, especially me, because I've been hurt. And I feel bad for Alex, because he's been having to do all the filming. But we're back, and we're gonna throw the Discmania fairway lineups in the originals. So what we got here is I have a C-Line Metal Flake FD. I have a C-Line FD1, which releases April 26th. Then, then I have a C-Line FD3 from the Mystery Box runs. Personally, these are, to me, the most overstable run of FD3s. So far, the FD1's a staple in my bag, especially with Oklahoma winds. I can really hammer on it and get a good straight flight out of it with a pretty decent finish at the end, but not near as hard as the FD3. And then my experience with the Metal Flake FD is they're not as overstable as the C-Line FD, but they're not quite as flippy as the S-Line FD. So hopefully these release soon because they are nice. So let's get after it. We're here at Sooner Park here in Bartlesville, Oklahoma playing holes four through 10. Then we're gonna jump over to hole one and then finish out on hole three here at Center Park. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, stay reliant, baby. Here's how we're gonna do it. For every three holes, if I throw this on hole four, it's out. If I throw this on hole five, it's out. Throw this on hole six. So then after those three holes, it'll reset, then I can have my choosing again. So now we're gonna flip heads or tails. Heads. It is tails. Okay with that. Ooh. You're gonna go first because it's a little windy today. Oh, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> All right, hole one of the challenge. It's par three, 325-ish, plays a little downhill. I'm gonna take, I'm going with the FD. I'm gonna throw it on hyzer out on the right side. Got a pretty stiff tailwind, so it should stable up. Oh my God. Where'd it go? Oh. Sad face. It's fresh out the car shot, going C-Line FD1. One time? Oh, it's... Oh! Good shot. I'm just gonna throw a forehand up shot. With your FD? With my FD, yeah. Ooh. Get up there. Hey! Let's butt. Inside C1. Button with the rainmaker. Right to left wind. Oh no, that was bad. This is a tougher putt. Ah! <laughs> oh. Hobbling back. Yes! <laughs> I, I was in my head, I was like, I've been practicing putting, I, like everything's gonna be fine, do your routine, and then I didn't do my routine. All right, hold two of the challenge, uh, straight ahead, it's a little forehand usually, about 240 feet, you got a pretty stiff headwind, I'm gonna throw FD1 on forehand, try to put it a little bit on hyzer, on this uh, gap on the left side. Just kidding. Stable. It's a really good straight forehand though. Yeah, that was, I mean, it was a big headwind. Mm -hmm. It flipped and then still faded out. All right, throwing my regular C-Line FD3. Get up there. Heck yeah, good shot. Maybe we can make that putt. <laughs> Dang. Alex just outside the circle, flying been, like an eagle. Been practicing my FD1 putts, so this should be money. Oh, I got scared. <laughs> All right, comeback percentage. We did it. Woo. What's up? All right, so I've thrown the FD1 on hole four, the FD3 on that last hole. So now I'm throwing the C-Line Metal Flag FD. I'm gonna go tight turnover on the left side of this tree. The basket's just right there. So we got a left to right wind. It almost kind of feels like a hit, but not quite. Gonna let the gravity of the hill take it down. Hopefully, give me a look. That was pretty sick. Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I got FD3 left, so I'm gonna try to pump one flat out on this right side a little bit. Caleb said put it closer, but I'll listen to what Caleb said. Yeah. I'll try to put it kind of straight at it. You got it, Brian. Off of it. Oh. Aww. I should have put it a little wider. 
Get up. Yuck! Good cut. <laughs> right where I want it. Right in my heart. <laughs> Hole seven. 340 feet. Got a little bit of headwind. I think I'm going to throw FD. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to try to get it by the basket. I don't know what my game plan is. Backhand, though. <laughs> Literally pinned it, dude. What? I might just try the FD like Caleb. We'll see if we can replicate. <laughs> There's no shot that I get this one turned like yours, though. <laughs> that was insane. Okay. Oh, that was actually kind of sick. Where'd it go? It was way low. Oh. But I hit the gap. Circle to edge, I think. Yep. Easy money. I've been practicing my FD putts, so. Oh! Oh, good run. Good line. Yeah! Good that was wild. I did it! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Ooh. Caleb shredding. Just forget the first putt. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, through the FD. Um, I think I'm gonna go FD1 on this whole backhand. Kind of get a turnover, kind of overpower on it just a hair, not too hard because I'm not throwing 100% yet. But yeah, it's about. What would you say this place? 330? 330? I think it plays further than that because it's uphill. Tree fitting? Yeah. So we got our left or right headwind, so. Dude. The tree's in the way, but it was a sick shot. Again. Yeah. Try to do what Caleb did. Yeah. Throw it. Maybe flat a little bit of Annie. That's and maybe it'll turn over. Trust it, baby. I didn't throw it on any Annie, and it was fine. I was looking at it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Do you want to approach backhand? That's not good. Oh, he's just right there. Just side the circle. Go to market with my UV Mini. Watch this. It's purple now. <laughs> no! Roll. Bad. Shit. Get on! Dude, Go on, get! get. <laughs> Dylan FG3, backhand. See the flag in the background. About, Hold on. what, 12 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour? Yeah, it's getting pretty stiff. It's pretty, FG3, backhand flag. That's a good shot. Chains. I got FD3 as well. I'm gonna throw like a wide hyzer, hopefully keep it a little low and then let the wind carry it back. Yeah, this whole part we play is 345, just a hair downhill. Where are we at? Oh. I ended up pretty far left. Pretty good for the other basket, but I've been practicing my FD3 circle two putts, so here we go. Pick up! Oh. I did it! Woo! Thanks, pal. This is a new hole for Sooner. A new alternate. For the fans, we're gonna do FD3 for it. Good. Heck yeah, dude. That, that was sweet. Thanks. Right, I'm gonna throw FD on like a turnover or an Anheuser. Hopefully get it on Anheuser. Oh, yep. Nothing new, just up shots. That's a bad one too. Oh, no. that's it. Another circle's edge tester. Oh, catch <laughs> it. A lot of people are asking what the FD1 compares to in the Disc Mania lineup. Honestly, it's a really good disc for in between that Lux Instinct and that uh, C-Line or Metal Flake FD3 fill. It's a seven speed, uh, four glide, zero turn, two fade, and it is pretty true to the numbers. 
you can hammer on this disc you can get it to go straight for a long time but then it's going to dump at the end for slower arm speeds it's going to be pretty similar to the fd3 um definitely a thinner rim profile than the fd3 though how does the top is it domey um let's see mildly dummy it's not near as flat as the fd3 but very similar smaller rim fill in the hand um personally for touch forehand shots up to 280 if you're really needing to hit in a gap with a low ceiling fairway an fd1 would be a better bet an instinct is not quite as torque resistant if you get an instinct up to speed it'll go straight for almost 400 plus feet not so much maybe for me <laughs> i was gonna say not for me <laughs> but with the fd1 honestly if i really hammer on this thing i'm probably only getting at 360 365 i'm getting at 300 and Alex maybe 325 but yeah so that's where it kind of fits in the uh dismania fairway lineup definitely more stable than your c line fd um metal flake c line fds and color glow fds right is that yeah the, all the ones we have so far i think so yeah so on this hole i already threw my fd3 on the last hole i'm gonna go sidearm fd1 down this low tunnel we should have a wind coming from the tailwind so hopefully once it gets exposed to the wind it'll stable out fade toward the basket you're on one brother I love it. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Alright, I got FD3 and FD1 left. I'm gonna throw FD3 out here on the left. Try and rip on it and get a big skip. That was not wide at all. Hit a tree. Don't hit a tree. Oh! Oh, good tree. Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. That's in. That's a birdie. Hole three right there. Got a headwind. Let's go right at it with the metal flake FD. Playing long today. I'm gonna try to throw like a low hyzer on the right side and let the wind lift it up. Head back to the basket. Lift! <laughs> it's not lifting! <laughs> That's a pretty good shot though. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> See line FD1. Boom, it's good. <laughs> I'm gonna try to throw it flat, like right out of it. Okay. Oh, hey. that's pretty good. Oh, that that's a, a solid shot, shot though. though. Yeah. Good putt. Oh, yeah, what a catch! <laughs> that is gonna do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I think the FD1 is definitely gonna make my bag. I think it's. A pretty sweet compliment to. That's not mine. Yeah, mine. Yeah. Oh, oh we missed the one. Oh, it's over there. That's fine. <laughs> it's it's pretty much right in between the FD3 and the FD. FD, mm -hmm. I think the FD is straight. Like it when it fades, it kind of fades forward. The FD1, you can kind of push it pretty hard, but it's gonna dump. And then the FD3, it feels like this. The C line ones. They're pretty flat and it feels like right out of your hand. They just want to go left. Pretty overstable. So I'm more of a power thrower. No shame against Alex. <laughs> but personally, the FD1, really liking it for those low power shots. Um, if you're really not wanting something to really glide past the basket, you can kind of hammer up on it like an FD, but it's not going to turn like an FD and it's not going to fade as hard as an FD3. Mm -hmm. Some people have also asked me how they compare to the old FD2s. Oh, um, yeah. They're maybe a tick more overstable than the three-tooled FD2. Yeah, I would agree. So I think I, it'll be fun when they beat in to see how they compare. I they're... think they'll be very similar, yeah. and I think they're just a little bit more torque resistant than the old FD2. Overall, I think this Mania did well with this new FD2. I think maybe once they get them in Metal Flake and S-Line, they're going to be a fan favorite. So I bet the Metal Flake is pretty dang close to the third tool. Effort. I think it will be I think be it'll too. almost be the same thing. So we don't know when they're coming out. This is all just speculation. But if they do, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, Alex, 
I'm glad to be back. And, yeah, it's good to have you back. <laughs> and I'm glad I played half decent today. But overall, hopefully I can get healed up. And big, huge shout out to Alex for carrying the channel for the past couple weeks. Um, so big thank you to you. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Stay reliant, peoples. Ooh.